So my dad's guns, turns out his big guns, his court guns are messed up from another family member who used them. And his finishing guns are fine, but it would take forever to get it done with the finishing gun. So I said, screw it. Went to Harper Freight this morning and picked up a, an actual automotive gun. Yeah, it's a cheaper one, but talking to the guy who prepped my paint and how he likes to paint out is to set the PSI and the air compressor down to 30 and then at the gun have it uh, regulated it's between 16 to 18 PSI and I got this gun that has the regulator right on it so it just saves a lot of headache and also picked up a stand for, for loading this top feed gun and we'll also hold the filters and got a bunch of filters And we're in a bit of a time crunch this morning because Taylor works at 10, or at, he works at noon and has to go and get ready for work at, of course, as soon as we don't have the, we're putting the primer coat on. You need the filters too. Uh, filter out heavy particulate that might be in the paint so that you don't gum up your, your air gun. Running under the gun now. Oh, this is meant to be mounted on the wall, so be careful when you have a gun in it. I don't want to mix up stuff till we're ready to go, so anything out of your pockets you don't want, suit up. Fortunately, all they had on the seats were large and above. You want to really freak some people out? You go shopping at the local grocery store in these white suits. We make meth with, with the respirator. We make methamphetamine on our free time. Oh no, you just tell them that you're COVID, you're COVID cautious. take my shoe off, of course. It's also on the foot with the bad ankle that doesn't go down. So. Part of why I'm doing this is with the primer and also with the clear coat, <laughs> you mix it together with a hardener which starts a chemical reaction as soon as you go. So mixing and pouring the paint is the last thing I want to do. I want to have everything else ready to go. And then we start cooking up. Hey, look at that, I am still large. A little snug in the butt, but whatever. Respirator, they did have a medium. Oh, oh. I've got a box around here. I'm not even really putting this on yet, I'm just sizing it. So it's ready to go. Thank you. 
Okay, I want to get the air compressor set. Go inside and put the fans on on medium level. And I'll find where I did my box of videos. Since it'll be hard to hear once we get in there, when we're laying out the paint, and I'll, I'll, I'll paint the first piece and the, the, the first uh, core panel, and I'll let you do the other. And then decide if you want to keep going or have to do more of it. But you want to keep it nice, even, and the movements nice and slow, even strokes, overlapping just a little bit, but you don't want it to pull up because then you get bumps in your paint. I really do feel like I'm going full Walter White here. Except he's a more colored. He was a more colored man right here. Well, at the end, he started, he started in a four thousand dollar or a couple thousand dollar motorhome. I says math lab, and then recently showed that story. I have not. I know about it, but watching a show about about a psychopath is, doesn't close me. So you don't like American Psycho then? Never watched it. I try to do things that are a bit more uplifting. The other thing about Dexter though, it's like he's only a psycho. Four parts primer, one part actor. He's only a psychopath for the people who are actually bad guys. The irony of being a bad guy by being a psycho with a bad guy. No, he, he does like, he's also a detective, but he does on the side. Where is my... Right here. I've got measuring Kind of easy, well, this screwdriver around here, but paint is a little easier for getting, getting the tops off these. Don't try this at home. We're idiots. Well, actually, do try it at home. See what you get out, come up with. It's not dangerous. But if you're going to do it, do it on a crappy car, or not crappy, but an older car you really care about. Technically it is crappy. We tried starting it for 10 minutes last night because of the key. We have what, what three different yeah, keys for the I wanted to go 400 more years ago. I'm probably not going to grab some of that. I can't think of it. Well, the problem is that this only has a 500 mm line on it. Yeah, it's not One hundred and ten milliliters. Okay. Take it. Come, but that does not smell good. Well, it's pink. It's not good. Well, the respirator really, aside from the smell of the pink, is um, so that any pink that's flying around that's actually aerosolized is not really good.
Hopefully I don't spray my hand. That old.
was trying to get away with one layer prior. You can see it's a little twice moved because we're figuring this out. There were some areas, especially at the very beginning where it wasn't coming out, the paint came out in globs. So I need to do some sanding. So I'm going to do a little bit of sanding with another coat of paint. Unfortunately, it kind of screws us on our timeline, but oh well. But no, that, overall, that went pretty good for the first time. Now we're going to get you to work. So overall, not too bad. You can see in the light, there are some unevenness on it. If I was doing something more professional, I'd hit it again. And I thought about doing a second coat, but honestly, Taylor is not too concerned. I am going to come back in here and do a little bit of sanding where he let it beat up a little bit too much there and there. And when I should have tested the gun more against, against the wall. Um, instead, it was hitting here, and I was getting some splattering, which has added texturing here. So I'm going to sand that as well real quick with real fine sandpaper. Wipe it down with some water, and then um, move on to the, the first color coat. So for this, I'm using some 400 grit. Um, when I do, I'll do a little bit of sanding between coats as well, and that I'll use water. I can do it fine. Got any dust in there before I didn't run out of the process. 